done nothing good for Canada. He, I, I, sorry, I guess he legalized. Hey, so for today, or right now per se, I'm going to be talking about Justin Trudeau because we want him out of Prime Minister office. We don't want him here. He needs to go. He needs to leave. He needs to not be here anymore. <laughs> also, can I just say, I love it how we have Justin Trudeau and then someone else put Justin Trudeau's ego. That's, that's mint. That is mint right there. I love it. Um, people are wanting an early election. They don't want... They really don't want him in. And you know what? With um, with the recent news of the ICBM going off, I could not agree anymore. I can't imagine a... I can't imagine a conflict going on and Trudeau being our leader into that conflict. Or being our leader of Canada with that conflict happening. I, I cannot imagine what that would even mean. I don't trust it. I don't want it. And just in general, I want him out. And so Justin Trudeau is giving back money. Uh, specifically in this uh, Justin Trudeau's ego post. He has said, uh, it, it is announced that anyone making under $150,000, which is, once again, for those who don't know the lore, about $75,000 less than his uh, six-day flight to Asia. Just want to keep that one on the records, you know. They will get $250 back from the government. Yay! And they say underneath that people making over 150000 paid roughly 70000 in income tax last year. And he's giving us 250 hoping that we'll be grateful for him giving that much back. But you know what? That kind of makes sense. You want to know why? Because there's no money left in Canada because of his stupid spending. He has no more money to give back. So, of course, he's only getting $250 because he can't do any more. He would if he could, but he can't because we don't have that money. We don't. <laughs> Canada is worth pennies right now under Trudeau. The economy sucks underneath him, and he's now giving only $250 back. Like, yay, $250. Definitely, that's not completely surmounted by the amount of taxes we paid in total. Right? Right? <sighs> like, we, we got grocery taxes, fuel taxes, living taxes, taxing of us breathing. And then we're going to get $250 back for all of that. Yay! <laughs> uh, Alright, let's watch it. Why not? For two months, starting... December 14th, we're going to remove the GST, HST from groceries, 100% of groceries, all groceries. We're going to remove the GST from restaurant meals, takeouts, fast food. Removing the GST from beer and wine. Why Removing two months? GST for essentials like kids' clothing, footwear, diapers. And toys. Is gas on that list? Two months, Canadians are going to get a real break on everything they do. Is gas on that? We also know that there's more we need to do. So if you worked in 2023 and earned up to $150,000, we're going to be sending you a check for $250. The working Canadians rebate of $250 will be uh, sent to people in April. He's even got a name for it. The working, what did he say? The working what? Rebate? The working Canadians rebate. Working Canadians rebate. He got even a flashy title with the $250 as well. He's all slogans. That's all he freaking is. $250, which will be uh, sent to people in April. He's going to give people that relief they need. People are squeezed. Why April? 
and we're there to help. No, you're not! Why April? What makes April special? Why 215 April? Why two months of a tax break? Why specifically two months, even? That's a weird number. Why two? Like, I'm complaining, yeah. I technically shouldn't be complaining, because, I mean, hey, it's two months of a tax break, but... Why two months specifically? That is an odd number to choose. Also, why April? What makes April special to give $250? Why not before Christmas? <laughs> so that people can buy just Christmas gifts. Why not Why not then? Why, why in April when literally everything is... No, you know, there's like no festivities happening around there. Or well, aside from like Easter, but... Do people buy gifts for Easter? I don't, I don't know. Why Why April? I don't get that. And, uh... Did he say gas... <laughs> what about the gas to get said groceries? Is that gonna be taxed the same? <laughs> and you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna be getting rid of the GST tax from the Canadian people. Is he doing the same thing for the grocery, like for like, let's say Costco, Walmart, whatever, is, is the tax also going to be gone from them? Probably not. And what's going to happen is they're just going to up prices again. That's all this is going to do. They're just going to up the prices even more because why not? We are paying X amount now and if we get the taxes um, uh, more, less, then it'll go down here and the companies, they want more money. They're gonna be like, hey, you know what, just uh, bump that up a little bit because why not? You're already paying this much, why not pay it now? We're gonna end up paying more money in the end. Bet you, bet you. That's an unfortunate bet, but a true bet at that. Bet you we're gonna be paying more after the two months. Bet you, bet you, bet you, bet you. It is your money, not his. But Justin Trudeau is acting like he is doing you a favor by letting you keep a tiny portion for two months. Remember, an average Canadian family pays more in tax than it pays for food, shelter, and clothing combined. Justin and Krista made Canadians poor. Well, you didn't really have to include that last part. Actually, maybe you did for the stupid people in the world. But Canadians don't want a two-month GTS or GST vacation on a handful of items. Canadians want a permanent vacation from Justin Trudeau and his corrupt liberal clown show that has been destroying the country for nine years in a row. Look, I just gotta say, we need Trudeau out. We need him out. We don't want him in. He's not not good for uh, Canadians and our money. We need him out. He just needs to be gone. I don't know what else to say to that. There's literally nothing else to say to this. He's terrible for ca for Canada. Canada, done nothing good for Canada. He. I, I, sorry. I guess he legalized. <laughs> what a great thing to do for Canada, which has definitely not caused more uh, ODs, but. <clears throat> He's done nothing beneficial for Canada. Or at least nothing that is worth him not being out of... Out of... Prime Minister role. He needs to be gone and out of here. We're all p broke because of him. Living has gotten substantially worse under him. And now he's giving us a two month break for some reason. It's a nice break. But it's two months. Why two months? Why? That, that, is, that is where I want to leave this off on. Why two months? Why specifically two months? That number just seems weird to me. That number just seems weird to me. Absolutely and utterly weird. Did you say the date in this video? For two months, starting December 14th. Why December 14th? Sorry, I'm looking at a calendar right now. Um, two months. Why December 14th? 
Am I the only one who th who thinks that the date is weird? Why why the fourteenth of all all times? I don't get that. Is that because people buy less food during that point in period? Why two months? Why on the fourteenth? Why two hundred and fifty in April of all months? Am I the only one who finds this weird? I haven't heard anyone talk about this. Granted, this is very recent. But it's just weird. I have no answers. I'm just putting it out there, you know? I got no answers to as to why. Two months. Why the 14th? Why 250 in April? I have no idea. I'm just throwing it out there being like, The f*** is this? I don't get it. Do you get it? Write in the comments if you have an idea. Cause I mean, the 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 idea is that he is that he is doing this just because he wants to try and sway voters by giving us crumbs. But is anyone actually swayed by this? I'm not. Obviously, I never was. But who is swayed by this? Who is thinking in their mind, Oh my goodness, he's such a good person, I'll vote for him. Who is thinking that? What lobotomite is actually thinking that in Canada? <sighs> you know what the thing is the- Why oh, is You know what is the worst part about it? Th there's something that just comes to my mind. Is like how years ago there was this uh, statistical thing that came out. I could be misremembering this. I want to just put that out there. But it was like, it was ranking education from countries, and Canada was, it was up there. It was up there. And yet we have Justin Trudeau for nine freaking years. How are we the most educated? Or one of the most educated? How, how, how are we the mo one of the most educated, and yet this is what we have to show for it? A worse economy, more people having no ho ha homes, People being more homeless, more ODs. How is this the substanti substantiation of a higher education? Obviously, it is not. And it is all just college degrees that is bumping those numbers up because people for some reason think that a college degree means they're any much smarter at all. I'm younger than Justin Trudeau, yet I think I would do a better part, better job at leading this country than he is. He's got no idea how to do his spending, no idea how to how to how to get us out of a deficit, because he keeps on just burrowing us further into one. And now we have a potential conflict, worldly conflict, on our doorstep. It's stupid. Alright, well, that is just about it all I, all I had to say on this video, and, uh, or, sorry, on this idea. And, uh, yeah, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Have a good one.